All right, so here we are in lovely Cedarburg. We just exited the back of the chocolate factory and we have uh, my better half who uh, grew up here. So we'll kind of give you a little tidbits on her memory of things. This is the Borner building. Did I pronounce that correct? Well, I only know that as the Rivoli Theater, which is still The is. Rivoli Theater. All right. All right, let's take a look. Hey, there we are. There it is. Well, isn't that cute? And this is a town that is about as Norman Rockwell as one could imagine. So and if somebody raves about Cedarburg and you're thinking, you know what, they're overstating it way too much. And there are times when I have thought that and then every time I come back to this place, I go, you know what, they weren't overstating it. This really is kind of a pretty amazing uh, little storybook town. Kind of cool, huh? And a great place to grow up, I would imagine, right? Great place to grow up. So that's the front of the Washington Inn. Yeah, I'll bet. Well, and it's kind of fun hearing the stories of uh, you growing up. Yeah, here we have Chocolate Factory. And we're going to hit this place, uh, Amy's Candy Kitchen. Lots of caramel apples. We will do that at some point on our tour with the camera off because I will be slobbering all over myself. Toy shop. Any other thoughts on any of this stuff? No, I mean, it, it's, it's, it's different, but it still has the uh, Main Street, you know, charm. And That's a good way to put it. city that continues to celebrate the arts and mm. you know, lots of... What's the festival that happens the in the summer? Festival? Strawberry festival, that's right. Yeah. It's pretty cool. And in winter, they do bed races. And, <laughs> you know, it's really uh, idyllic. I mean, you described it as Norman Rockwell. You know, it's like a Bedford Falls. It's a wonderful Bedford life. Bedford Falls, <laughs> it's a wonderful life. That's great. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty cool. Well, we are up to the uh, little cafe here, so I am going to dive in and get me a coffee since I didn't have one this morning, and you, of course, don't want me to be crabby. Oh, That's right. it's a golden pig. Um, <laughs> there's some cool uh, winery stuff here in town, isn't there? Yeah, the winery is a little bit running down. Well, I'll hit pause for now. And uh, what street is this? This main street? This is Washington, Washington. Washington, and there it is. All right, so we'll, uh, we are at halftime of our little tour of Cedarburg. All right, so I'm told this uh, jewelry store has been there a long, long time, which is kind of cool, kind of quaint. That is the street where we came from. This is really cute. 1849? It's incredible. There are, you know, Got some winery options, huh? It seems like everything here is cute. And so are you, so that fits. I'm thinking, well, we have another block and a half of Washington Avenue? Washington Avenue. Avenue, yep. okay. Okay, we Main got the community Street, center. Community center. That's where it you all happens. Basketball in there. You played a little b-ball there, huh? Yeah, sure. Well, it does say gymnasium. Sure does. Underneath, pretty cool. Yeah. Santa's workshop, all right. Yeah, and so obviously they're getting ready. Baby, here we go. Well, that's really cool. They're getting ready. 
1845. Irish and German immigrants. I, got, I think I got a little city hall in there, but we can we can flash it there again. There he is. Santa's coming. I like it. Now the church you went to way at was, the other uh, end, the far end. Yeah. So. Now the vine water. Hey. That's great. We had a guy wave at us. That was pretty cool. Oh yeah. He's looking for some good food. Another good coffee shop. What's that? Well, heck yeah, right? There's a confectionery. I like it. A lot of good food options here, huh? A lot of good food options. Good place for wine. Yeah, a lot of good wine. Now we went to that one winery and then had somebody say, oh, you got to go across the street. And that place is great. So there's just a lot of great places. And you and I are more coffee and tea people versus wine. But hey, we can can't, can't be at, have a glass here or there. Can't be at uh, Cedar Creek Winery. And then there's Cedar a place Creek called wine. the Shinery across the street. Oh, okay. Moonshine over there. And I mean, how old are these buildings? It's got to be mid 1800s, huh? Incredible. Wow. The museum. I mean, it's funny because the videos I do are usually kind of. We walk straight ahead. <laughs> There's so much to see here. A little Irish boutique. I've got my 70% Irish wife, so. I've got to show that. But. Yeah, I mean, it's, uh, there's so much here. Tommaso's Pizza My arm been hurts. There for a real long time. A pizza joint? Okay. Yeah. Very cool. Roman's Tire has been here for... Wow. Now that is time. old school. Now there used to be gas pumps there. I'll, I was just going to say that was probably a gas station, right? And they would pump it for you. That was no. back in the day. Yep. Mm. That I love. Yeah, what an adorable town this is. Yeah. And how far north of Milwaukee would you say? Uh, like 15, 20 miles. Yeah, not too far, right? I mean, we well, got up here probably less than a less than 30 minutes. Yeah. So Cross. where is the the winery over there? Cool. There's a good view. Like, did you guys see oh, it? Like, Are going to hit the covered bridge, you think, for the video? All right, well, I think uh, my my hand's a little frozen, so, yeah, where are we headed? Is this the winery over here? Yeah, Cedar Creek Oh, okay. Oh, this is cool. And this this used to be some kind of mill? Yes. Because the, the bridge is right there, so that must have been the Cedar yeah. Creek. Yeah. So, All right, cool. Very nice. We can, uh, well, we'll maybe it's peek in, or we'll head over to the uh, peek in. the well, park. We'll show, the, we'll show the, we can show the piece of artwork my dad created. Oh, I like it. This way, we're going in. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna click stop for a moment. So, my wife's father created that sign, and God knows how long ago. Incredible. What a neat place. I'm just going to take a little lap, lap through here. Wittenberg Mills. Unbelievable. Wine shop and tour. This is 
is pretty incredible. Look at this place. I feel like I'm in a time machine. I went back. Incredible. This is really neat. All right, well. So that's the bridge we were just at, which has the falls on the other side of it. And we are now down by this bridge, which I think we could see in the background. But this is actually, what is it called, Mary? Interurban. So interurban between the towns, right? Mm -hmm. This is actually a rail line that connected Milwaukee, went through Cedarburg, and went all the way to Sheboygan. Um, pretty cool. I had heard about it. I hadn't actually seen it, but this was the, the rail line, line that went uh, through town. Very cool. And action. So we're by Cedar Creek, right? And, the, and so you used to be able to see the mill turn with all of this, but... Wow. When was that? Back in the 80s? 70s. Maybe. 70s and 80s. Okay. Yeah. So that's a second waterfall yep. set up for another mill. That's, yep. that's pretty cool. We'll just kind of walk a little bit and let the, uh, yeah, so you used let the to, video roll. You used to try and use the rocks to figure out how to cross the other As side. kids, you guys would try to cross that? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, well, you were successful. <laughs> Turn it on the water bottle. You wouldn't try it on a cold day like this. It's a cute couple. Yeah, I can imagine. You don't want to fall in today. It's high 30s right now. Oh, really pleasant. I, you know, if you bundle up, there's only, I think my theory is, there's only 10 days in the winter where it's like, ugh. But otherwise, a lot of winter days are like this in the 30s and cloudy but it's fine there's a little breeze but so what you know, I think I'm gonna make this into a sleeping video So I may, uh, I may loop this on another video. Stay tuned, folks. All right, so we just headed north from the winery about 1.7 miles. And it looks like it's a, the street is called Covered bridge okay well that would make sense why voila covered bridge so we are again north of probably the middle of cedarburg by about two miles this is cedar creek which flows into cedarburg and you said there's a little sign here so let's take a look built by the town washed out bridges, pine logs cut and milled at Baraboo. Um, and I was just in Baraboo actually doing, <laughs> yeah, doing the video for Devil's Lake. So, hey, there's a, I get a little plug to take a look at my Devil's Lake video from last week. Uh, that was a lot of work actually. Um, normally we would have walked up here, but we wanted to do this in a timely fashion. And so pretty cool. Ozaki County Board, 1940, voted to assume the preservation and maintenance of this bridge. So. Built in 1876, retired 1962. Wow, pretty cool. Um, and it would be great to do start doing some videos on different roads, old roads uh, from Wisconsin. But yeah, this is just beautiful. And uh, you could theoretically take a canoe or kayak and just float all the way down and make it into Cedarburg. Wow, very good. Well. We hope you enjoyed the video on Cedar. What do you want? She doesn't like what I'm doing here. Keep keep Mama happy. So we're gonna cross the bridge. That's kind of metaphoric, isn't it? <laughs>
across the bridge. I'm going to the light. Yeah, and the problem is with this phone, it doesn't always do great with lighting, and it literally looks like I'm going to the, uh, the next world. We might as well cross the bridge. All right, so we are crossing the bridge. Hope you enjoy this Cedarburg video. Thank you to my lovely wife making this a, a great video tour of her hometown. We missed some things, but we tried to capture most of it. And uh, hope you enjoyed it. And here we are on the other side. I'm glad we crossed. Uh, enjoy a couple of video snippets as well as some photos at the end of this video just to uh, have a little fun. Make it a great day, everybody. Ooh, that's good coffee.